record these, so I'm trying to figure out which day this is supposed to be. 22! Day 22! So today is day 22, and it is uh, foods that I like, don't like, and if someone paid me lots of money, would I eat them? Okay, here's the thing. I do enjoy a lot of food. Um, I love anything to meat, anything fish, anything whatever. I'm not a big fan of a lot of condiments or things that are really salty. Um, although there is this occasion where sometimes I just start craving salt and I think it's because I don't eat a lot of salt that I think my sodium goes low or something because I, I actually do get really like, yeah, and I don't have high blood pressure or anything. Um, in fact, when I get sick, my blood pressure usually goes low and because I really try not to eat processed foods, I don't eat a lot of salt. So yeah, um, what I don't like, uh, so foods that I don't like. I guess it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I can't handle them very well. I cannot do spicy food. Um, because I grew up eating a lot of uh, like non-spicy food and bland tastes and things that weren't really sugary. Like I used to think pepper was hot. Like black pepper, I used to think that was hot. Like it's ridiculous. And um, I remember one time I went to uh, like it was like this East Indian restaurant and it was like a buffet and that's where I learned that you want to stay away from the green stuff you the red stuff's okay I mean it's spicy but you can handle it well I could barely handle it and basically I spent the whole evening taking bites of things and then eating four naan bread <laughs> because I couldn't take it oh my god and the water guy wasn't coming fast enough for me. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was so hot. And then I got sick afterwards. So I physically could not take spicy food. Like if something's too, too spicy and I'll like even eat it like just because I usually get sick afterwards. It does not sit well with me. Um, yeah. So would I eat it? Okay. So here's the thing. All right. There are, there are foods that I don't like. Um, and culturally so when you go to usually when you go to an indigenous person's house there's this thing about gift giving and reciprocity kind of thing so um, but gift giving in general if um, in my especially in my area in my family um, if you go to someone's house and they offer you food or money or gifts it's a disrespectful it's disrespectful to like not accept it um, you might as well have walked into their home and slapped them in the face. Like It's seen as a sign of disrespect. So um, because of that, I have always learned to go and I will, and I still take that with me now. Um, if I go to a friend's house, anyone's house, and they're like, oh, it's horrible, it's really spicy, anything, I will, I will eat it with a smile on my face. Because to me, that's a sign of respect. Someone has taken the time to cook you food and and um, and share their and open their home to you and share their food with you. I I I can't I can't not accept that. So um, yeah. So for me, I guess if it was in a situation where I was paying for it, and we were at a restaurant and I was buying it, and someone was like, "I'll give you like a billion dollars to like eat this." depends on what it is I'm also like I'm not I'm not one of those people that's like you know it's like a scorpion and it's like try it it's great you know I'm I mean this is gonna be like probably a once in a lifetime thing I'm gonna grin and, <laughs> grin and bear it and just chew it and close my eyes <laughs> so for me yeah I yeah, I don't know. I guess the food, the food challenges and stuff like that, I guess, I guess it really depends. Like, I, I guess I'm up for almost anything just because of how I grew up. Because the worst part is, usually when I go home and travel and we're back home with our family, we have this thing where you show up at someone's house and they're having dinner. 
and then you show up at someone else's after there you leave there and you're show up at someone else's house and they're also now having dinner and then you're like hey we're gonna go stop at this last person's house because um, you know we want to hit another person's house before we go back to wherever we were and they hear you're coming over so they for some reason think you're starving so they cook dinner again again you've now eaten three dinners that's what I find very hard but you know what I find room and I shovel it down <laughs> because also um, I mean don't get me wrong the third house I'm still trying really hard and we'll probably just take it the rest of it to go home afterwards but you, you still eat it <laughs> that's what we, we usually still take it with us anyway. yeah you just take it with you and then that's it so I mean but yeah so for me it's a cultural thing um, if someone shares their food with you that's totally a gift it's an honor um, I won't I yeah I've been I've been taught that it's disrespectful so I will eat it I think that's why also even for weight loss even when I was a kid, oh my goodness, I would always gain weight on holidays. And it wasn't because I was eating a whole bunch of junk food and things like that. It's because I was going places and eating three dinners. <laughs> it was pretty bad. And it's like really gamey wild meat. Like they, they go and hunt um, deer and moose and goose. And those are really fatty animals. <laughs> and yeah, eating a lot of that is, yeah, gets you after a while. You're not even close to Boudreaux. So yeah, so that was uh, my answer, I guess. Uh, don't forget to watch yesterday's video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can watch tomorrow's video. And don't forget to like this video. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.